natural catastrophes cost nearly $200 billion globally in 2020. Over the last few decades, 200 million people have died in climate related disasters. Nine out of 10 of those have been in developing countries. In the year running up to COP26, the world has faced a triple climate, economic and health emergency that will have a prolonged impact on millions of people's lives around the world. The climate emergency is already here. In August, the IPCC laid out the clearest picture yet of the risk to come and demonstrated the urgency of adaptation and resilience. But to solve the climate emergency, we must also solve a data emergency. If we are to win the race to resilience and align financial flows with climate resilient development, we need a shared understanding of risk across society. Until now, this essential information has been unavailable, inaccessible other than to the richest people in society, and incomplete and inconsistent even in the developed world. The Global Resilience Index Initiative is about closing this data gap. Following the footsteps of the UN's 2017 Global Assessment Report, it tries to provide a common language of risk accessible to all. It's about providing globally consistent, reliable, basic risk information to inform resilience and adaptation. It's about providing the information needed to mobilize trillions of investment in adaptation resilience, to integrate risk into decision making across all levels of society, to protect millions of lives and enable resilient growth of our economies and societies. We are not starting from scratch. The GRI is an open collaborative platform with partners around the world sharing information openly with common standards. We draw upon the significant risk modelling expertise of the insurance industry, putting together the basic building blocks of hazard, exposure and vulnerability information to provide an advanced probabilistic view of risk suitable for financial and economic decision making. Our focus is on the extremes, the typhoons and floods, for example, that have the biggest impact on people and on our societies. But we also strive to deliver the next generation of analytics, an understanding of the systemic level risks, the interaction of climate with our economies and societies that can amplify risks and that we need to account for in our adaptation and resilience planning today. Our focus is global, but we're also able to drill down from the global to the national, the subnational, and even the asset level, the information needed by financial institutions for their disclosures and to really integrate this into the global financial system. This year for COP26, we will deliver the first global infrastructure risk analytics platform, filling an essential data gap in our understanding of risk globally. This is based on advanced Earth observation, artificial intelligence and big data techniques, which allow us to deliver this type of analysis at scale and make it accessible to all. Open data is a public good. This is about providing a common language of risk to mobilise investment into the trillions across society. This is about levelling the playing field in information for all. We call on you to be part of this resilience transition.